Hello everyone. We will continue the topic useful about class. And in the previous video, we finished with the logic part in the class method. We run the method and we are getting a expected output of six columns. Now we will simply, simply call this method inside a program because ultimately customer will run the program. Customer will not go for class and run the class methods. Ultimately, we need to call inside a program. So I will go to SC38 transaction. I will give some name to the program. We all know first letter should be Z or Y. Suppose I'm saying, Z sales order. Display. I will go for create. I will give the title. To display the sales order details. I will choose the type as executable program, save, and I will save it as a local object. Now, what will be the input for this program? Input will be sales order number. And yes, what was our requirement? We will go for single input of order number. Whenever we want to go for single input of order number, whenever we want to go for single input, we should always, always create parameters. So I will create a parameter for sales order number. The keyword is parameters. Suppose I'm saying P underscore V B E L N. You can give any name, it's your wish, but it is always good if you're starting the name with P. Type will pass the data element of sales order number. This is the data element of sales order number. I'll check the syntax, I will activate. Whenever I will run the program, end user, will never, never understand this technical name. So we will give the selection text. Go to text element, selection text. Choose DDIC reference and activate. This sales document, it appeared from data element. If I will go for data element of this, you can see this sales document, it is coming from data element, data element. So now our input is ready. Input is ready. Now we will not write the logic here. Logic is already in the class method. We need to simply, simply call that method. Now, if you see, our method is a instance method. Instance method. What was the what was the level of the method? The level is instance method. Whenever we have a instance method, we always always has to take a object. Object. We will always call the method through the object. So I will firstly declare a object. Suppose my name of the object is LO underscore object. And whenever you are declaring object, the keyword is type ref2. And pass the name of your class. So we declare the object which is referring to this particular class. Now we need to compulsory create the object. And what is the syntax to create a object? 
create object object name what is the name of the object hello underscore object now we will call the class method with the help of object and yes our class is a global class which we created through sc24 transaction code so i will simply simply go to pattern button now i will choose a bab object patterns and now firstly i will give the name of the instance instance means we need to give the name of the object what is object a object is an instance of class yes so what is the name of your object we gave hello underscore object because object is always always instance of class now we will give the class name we will copy and anyways class has one method as of now so whenever i will do f4 you can see get underscore data method appeared automatically i will go for end now most most important thing which was covered during function module also whenever we called the class method import become export export become import if you remember when we created this method pvbeln pvbeln if you see pvbeln was importing here it is coming as exporting lt underscore output was exporting here it is coming as importing and there is no hard and fast rule at all from this program we are exporting so that in the class it will treat as importing it is it's not a technical thing or something from the program we are exporting so that whenever this class method will receive it will treat as importing now this input we will pass to this particular parameter sorry i will call again i think it removed okay now i will pass the name of the input i will uncomment now in front of lt output suppose i will give some name of the internal table suppose lt underscore final now lt final has the same type as that of lt underscore output so how how i can pass the type of lt final never never cram just double click just double click lt output is of this type simply copy simply copy in function module also the best way is always double click and copy the type same thing is here copy the type and declare in your program i will write data lt underscore final control v as it is already a table type so i cannot use the word type table of now our input will pass to this class method based upon that our logic will execute our output will go to lt underscore output lt underscore output will return the result to what lt underscore final just see 
when we gave the input it went from right to left when it returned it returned from left to right left to right yes most important terminology most important understanding whenever we are calling import export export import whenever you are passing it's always right to left now when it returned it returned from left to right so our data is in this internal table how we will display the data by using loop statement so firstly i will declare the work area type now never write the name of the table type blindly into work area it will make a internal table work area is always always structure so copy the name of the structure and declare now i will put a loop and display loop at lt underscore final into lwa underscore final for every loop there is a end and now i will display the data of six columns right slash what is first column lwa final vbeln er dat er zdt er num post not and Metadata. We all know whenever we want to display the output, we are using write statement. I'm checking the syntax and activating the program. Okay. So now, whatever the input we will give, this input will go to class method. It will return the result and we are displaying. Just think now. Is this, this class method is a modularization technique? Yes, yes. Those who don't know modularization technique topic, no problem. It is already covered in the previous playlist. We have four modularization technique includes function module, subroutine and class method class method why why modularization we are dividing the program into small small units see you can write this whole logic inside the program also but that is never never a best practice always always use small small modularization technique so we have written the whole logic in this particular class method class method and we call this class method inside this particular program suppose we have another program there we require same to same logic so can i call this class method there also yes so this is the main benefits of modularization technique. Class method is also also one of the most important modularization technique. Modularization means dividing the program into small, small parts, small, small units. So we have written the whole logic in the class method we make a separate module itself and we are calling in the program and just see how good our program is looking like rather than writing continuous lines of logic we are just calling the class method inside the program so now i will simply simply activate the program in the next video we will understand everything in that debugging mode 
and we will see are we getting a expected output or not. So that's it in this video. Thank you.